Uh, if you don't use Overcast, the first tip is to use Overcast. Agreed. For your podcatcher player. Um, yeah. I'm not a current user myself. Oh, dude. I, I like, I, I should. Patrick's right. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. And then he gives a little tip here. If you use yeah. Overcast, go to the settings by touching the gear icon and go to nitpicky details. Uh, I got a sense of humor. Um, there, set the seek back and seek forward to times to a different amount of seconds. I set mine to 30 seconds forward and 15 seconds back. It makes it much easier to fast forward through sections you don't want to listen to but still find the parts you want to listen to. Uh, once you try it, it makes more sense. So. Yeah. It, it, it overcast, th there's a lot of things that Overcast does. This this forward and backward thing also will map to <coughs> your, uh, your, like if you have steering wheel controls, either with CarPlay or with Bluetooth. It, it I've had it work with both. So whatever you set to the, you know, the back thing, if you hit back on the steering wheel, that would normally like change the radio station back or whatever. If you're Bluetooth in or car played into your your phone that's running overcast, it will send that signal through and it'll go back to 15 seconds. The other thing that overcast awesome. will do. Yeah. Very specifically for this show uh, that I heard from uh, and I'll, I'll call them an anonymous listener. Sometimes. Uh, there is a little bit of dead air on this show. For example, we just had it, right? Well, you were pulling up the next question. I do it too. The nice part is you can set Overcast if you use smart speed. Uh, Marco Arment is the programmer behind Overcast. He was also the first uh, programmer behind Tumblr. So, he's, you know, he's been doing this for a while. Uh, he built this audio playback engine that is entirely Overcast's. And smart speed will find those gaps and just shrink them. And as somebody was saying they listened to the, you know, they've been listening to the show for years on overcast and then wound up, you know, tuning into the live stream and they're like, wow, like the dead air is super frustrating when it's in real time, but overcast makes it go away. It's like, ah, there you go. So yeah. And, and overcast will keep the, like it will speed things up and slow things down. Uh, just to really to make the the listening experience better. So yeah, it's good stuff. Have I never heard of this? Wow. Yeah, I'm it's stoked great. to try this out. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the only way to listen to podcasts, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. audio no. podcasts. Yeah. yeah.